Before we get started, let's shout out our top pop quiz answers from Instagram. If you would like a chance to be featured in the next pop quiz shout out, head over to Instagram and follow me at VLS Hair Design. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next post. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there. Today I am going to be sharing with you guys uh, frequently asked questions I get all the time, especially about braids and how to maintain them and keep them looking fresh and how to deal with all that nasty gunky buildup that happens over time especially for us people who have dry scalp so as you can see i am actually wearing some large knotless braids that i installed about two and a half weeks ago if you want to see how i did the install i did a quick a mini tutorial on IG so I'll leave a link to that below if you want to see what hair I used and how long it took me and all that good stuff but anyways yeah my scalp is itchy and flaky and we need to do something about this um, so I'm going to show you guys some products to kind of help alleviate these problems and then also show you the process of washing your hair because you can wash your hair in knotless braids so the first product I have here is the Shampoo Spray by Tropical Roots. This product is specifically designed for protective styles and long wearing braid styles um, because over time you will experience buildup whether you have dry scalp or not. If you're using products on your hair, it's going to cause buildup because it has nowhere to go. So really all I do in maybe once or twice a week, really depending on how it's feeling, I'll spray this on my roots and rub it in really, really good. And it really does do the trick. It loosens up any dryness and flaking and makes your scalp feel really, really fresh and clean. Now, some of you may think that I may have an itchy scalp because of the braids when really that's not even the case here because the hair I used was the model model vinegar rinsed hair which I did do a video about a couple of weeks ago so if you have time go check that out the hair is itch free so it has nothing to do with the hair or any chemicals in it it has everything to do with how my scalp is Another product that I swear by for buildup is this Instant Soothe Scalp Elixir by Head & Shoulders. This is from their Royal Oils collection. This stuff works, it's like magic in a bottle. Like the minute you spray it on any buildup, it loosens it right on up. So it does have dual purpose. It works great for maintenance, but it will also work really great for takedown, which I will show you guys toward the end of the video. I also really love the spray nozzle on this. I actually reuse this nozzle for other products. <laughs> um, but yeah, it really does the trick. Now every couple of weeks or so, I do feel like I have to do a deep cleanse. So to do this, I'm going to use my favorite shampoo and dilute it in some water in a bottle. Um, you can use whatever shampoo you like. I'm using this one by Trader Joe's, the Tea Tree Tingle one, because it's great for dry, itchy scalps. Um, and I would say about three tablespoons or so with about a half a bottle of water is enough. And I'm going to spray that directly onto my scalp and lather it in there to loosen everything up. I understand some people are afraid to do this because they want their braids looking snatched and fresh and everything, but in reality, knotless braids are an extension of your own hair. So the more you wear them, the longer you wear them, the more natural they're going to look. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys how to re-snatch them all back. Now you can use whatever method you want to rinse the shampoo out. I prefer to use my tub uh, faucet because I like the way the water saturates my hair better. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna rinse that all out and wring it out. Get all of the water and the shampoo down the braids. Now I will be using my towel to wrap around my hair so that I'm not dripping all over my bathroom, but I'm gonna be very careful not to rub the towel back and forth over my hair because that's gonna cause frizzing. And here I am just showing you guys how I'm checking to make sure I got all the hot spots. Typically for me, it's right in the top of my head crown area. 
So now that we cleaned everything up, we've got to add some moisture back in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab whatever conditioner I want. You can use whatever conditioner you want. I'm using this Leave-In by Garnier Fructis. Um, I think I have a whole bunch of those laying around from when I used to coupon back in the day. I'm also going to add in a few tablespoons of my favorite hair oil. I'm using this Jamaican black castor oil. You can use whatever oil you like. I would recommend using a light carrier oil like jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, but not so much coconut oil because it does solidify in the water and it's not easily sprayable. Once I've got everything mixed up, I'm going to spray my mixture onto the shaft of my braids I'm not gonna spray so much on my scalp because I don't want to add to any more buildup in the future and for those of you who are not about that mix in life you can also try the lot of body leave-in conditioner this is a very very lightweight conditioner so you don't have to worry about a lot of product buildup and it leaves your hair smelling so good I'm now going to set my hair to air dry, so I'm going to put it in a low ponytail to stretch my roots while it's drying. And then to set my roots, I'm going in with my favorite of all time, the Tropical Roots Sculpting Foam. I don't know what kind of magic they put in this bottle, but I've tried them all. And this is the only one that has that hold that soft hold that you're looking for like it lays everything down you can almost see immediately how it lays everything down and then all I have to do is tie it up and then when I take it off my my hair is laid it's it's crazy how this stuff works of course you can use whatever foam you like but this is the one that I recommend highly And to avoid my hair from dripping all over the place while it's drying, I always put it up in a bun and this typically does the trick. No drippity drip drip. And here we are about eight hours later. I'm going to take my hair down. My ends are about, I would say 85% of the way dry and it smells so good. And here are my roots. Look how laid they are flat hair clean no flaking and my hair is still soft enough for me to just brush out it's not stiff at all that's why i absolutely love that foam nice and sleek you guys so i can get another week or two wear out of this but i actually have to take this down in a couple of days for another project i have for you guys so yeah, I'm going to show you how I typically style it. I'm very, very simplistic. I um, think this was just a half up, half down bun situation. Um, this is my regular going out of the house look. I always put it to the side of some kind. And then, of course, the work look up in a high bun. And I love accessorizing this with all my different colored scarves. This is the one I had earlier, but I have like a whole collection of different colored ones. Um, just keeps everything neat and in place when I'm not doing anything, going anywhere, taking any pictures. Lastly, I wanted to show you guys the takedown process because I get a lot of questions about how to manage the buildup. Um, when you are taking your braids down one reason I showed you maintenance in the beginning was the less buildup you have at your takedown the less breakage you'll have and the less headache you'll have trying to detangle your hair so what I'm showing you here is what I like to call my retouch comb I love the functionality of this particular comb I only use it for takedowns because it has wide teeth on one side, fine teeth on the other side, and then it also has this handy parting tooth for picking out small delicate sections. Now, if I get to a section that's stubborn like this one and it's not easily coming apart, that's when I pick up the old products that we use for maintenance, the same products, the shampoo spray or the Soothe Scalp Elixir they're magic in a bottle they release that build up right away and as you can see all i had to do was spray once rub it in once and all of that build up came right on out Now 
now when you are detangling and combing out your hair you always want to use the widest teeth possible first and then work your way down to the finer teeth um, that's just how I search and destroy all the tangles before I wash. Now, as I get to the larger sections, I didn't necessarily need my comb. I was able to use my Denman brush to get the section nice and combed out. Um, but yeah, using my handy dandy sprays here to release any buildup and then brushing out my hair from there. Now, one thing I really, really want to point out is that you cannot miss these steps during your takedown process. What you do not want to do is take your braids out, leave them clumped up in those buildup spots, and then wash your hair. Let me tell you, you're going to lose a lot of hair and you're not going to be happy. You have to detangle your hair first before you wash it. If you miss that step, you're going to have problems. Now, this takedown took me about 30 minutes, but either way, whatever style you're taking down, just take your time. You will thank me in the long run. Don't rush through it because that's how you lose hair. All right, so that's a wrap for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in and hanging in there with me. I hope you guys learned something. And if you did, make sure you leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video on your way out, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.